Hello lovies, hope all is well. If you are new here, I hope you like, subscribe, and take a peek at some of my content on my channel. Much appreciated. This channel covers topics from true crime, pop culture, and extreme sports. I know it's a bit chaotic, but I'm pretty random. Please be advised this video is for entertainment and or educational purposes only. Speculations may be discussed, but not suggested to be taken as fact. Please do your own research to make and come to your own conclusions. Feel free to keep the conversation going by commenting down below with your thoughts on this topic. The only rule I please ask to be followed is that you please be human, be kind. And while you're down there, do me a favor and hit that like button. That small little click goes a long way. If you'd be so kind and want to send me and Puppers a coffee tip, puppuccino tip, or donation, we would be forever grateful. Donations go towards content research, supplies, programs, and other ways to keep this channel going. From my heart to yours, thank you. Supercross Motocross Daniel Blair leaves Monster Energy Broadcasting amidst Ricky Carmichael feud race day live. Information of a departure of Daniel Blair spread back in May and rumors uh, uh. started to swirl around the Monster Energy Broadcasting host and main events. Longtime fixture and fan favorite announced he is stepping away to focus on other opportunities, but promises to still be involved and in giving support to this fabulous sport. In quote, an unbelievable chapter comes to an end today as I've decided to make a pivot in life and step away from my positions and roles with Supercross and TV. I'm very grateful for the life this job gave me with nine years of incredible moments and memories. The decision was tough, but ultimately I have some opportunities that will allow me to give back to the sport in new and different ways. I'm sad to step inside. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sad to step aside, but excited at what's next to everyone at Feld's Thank you for giving me the chance to share my love for the sport. You are and always will be my family. To the fans, thank you all so much for your support. You were always the fuel that kept me going. To the sport, I'm not going anywhere. I'll continue to give my whole heart towards the opportunities I have now and the ones coming in the future. Thank you. He recently stepped up to the plate to take over as team manager of the KTM Orange Brigade amateur team. Oh it has also God. been reported that he is working with Verb Classic track owners, Eddie Ray and Jessica Patterson to create something special. Always professional and a class act. He will be very missed by many. But what triggers this change? Rumors and speculation has resurfaced on the internet about a feud between the former Supercross racer and main event frontman, Blair, and the GOAT, Ricky Carmichael. 
They clearly did not have the same level of success, but Blair had a very respectable career and been involved with the sport in many different ways, on and off the air. Many think Carmichael has openly shamed and disrespected Blair many times, where apparently it shows he doesn't hold much respect for him, and they just clash. The two personalities of the events had been rumored to never really see eye to eye on things, and Carmichael tends to hold the power and control with the networks. If you surf the comments in YouTube Supercross videos, you will find people complaining Carmichael's hosting and commentating in recent years. Ever since James Stewart has been doing his YouTube podcasting, it has been said that speculation was he was interested in partnering up with Stewart for the Monster Energy series. Combined together, these legends share seven championships and 98 victories in Premier uh, Division. They had been competitors for many years and rekindled their friendship, becoming lifelong close friends, officially reunited in the booth to call all the positions and turns. It's so funny to get back to where we were before we raced together and be in a situation where I feel like we're working together to be the best we can together. It's not like we were racing in a competitive nature. I think we pushed each other to do the best. We support each other to do the best. Carmichael 43 told NBC Sports. NBC Sports had reported that their report is as natural as their friendship. Yeah, to the point We've kind of been hearing James literally finishing and completing thoughts and sentences for old man Durdick. Sorry, not sorry. That seems to be the truth. You can say they can play and bounce off each other. And yes, that's a good thing. But it's a bit noticeable. It may be to aid and rescue. Some may say it seemed that Ricky was ready to kick Daniel out and bring James in. James had done an amazing job when he was beside Ricky analyzing the showdowns. How do you guys feel about all this? Daniel stepping back from on air and the rumor that him and Ricky just don't get along and the time was up. If you're a fan of Daniel Blair's passion and time spent on air, smash that like button. And how do you think Stuart is doing? as an on-air broadcaster with the sport. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. I'm Linda, and that's for the record, Your Honor.